Hello. Today we will look at the alert section on Ding. We'll see how we can configure, modify any alerts, either for the client, for the staff, and the business. In order to access the alert section, we can go to settings. Under alert settings, choose alert as an option. Here you will see that there are various kinds of alerts that can be configured either for the client, the ones that are uh, usually sent out to the customer and the ones which goes to the staff, internal ones. So under client, there are various kinds of alerts around appointment reminders, around appointments itself, whether it's a new appointment, whether the appointment has been modified, cancelled, so on. There is an alert around invoice. So this is typically sent out after the completion of the service it, along with the receipt. Then there are alerts around feedback and form. Other customer alert has customer verification. This is where you can, uh, where the customer needs to verify themselves in order to redeem any points or whether to add a family member or so on. So typically in, in, in such a scenario, uh, a code, a verification code can be sent out to the customer and they can verify themselves with that code. And then there are business alerts around low rating or bad feedback. So here in order to edit or modify any alert, we can click on the gear icon here. Before that, uh, let me tell you there are different types of uh, alerts. Either it could be an SMS alert, it could be a notification via a messaging app. Uh, this depends upon the geography that you are in. Uh, maybe it's not enabled uh, or you know whether it's disabled for you. And then uh, there are email alerts. So in order to edit these alerts, you can click on the gear icon, uh, simply enable or disable it very easily. Once it is enabled, you have the format for editing where you can edit the content very easily. There are various tags or variables that are available. Uh, this would vary depending upon the the alert section that you are in, whether it's for invoice, whether it's for feedback and so on. You can choose the desired variable, preview the message, update it and close it. And this, this is similar for SMS, email and notification. So in case of an email alert, you can simply go to email, again, toggle to enable or disable it. The editing format remains very similar. You can edit the text content from the template body, add or delete any variables that are required. And these variables, as I said, could be your business name, address, uh, location, the booking date, stylist, services. So. You know, you can pick choose from these variables to make it more and more personalized, updated and close. In case of the staff, there are appointment alerts wherein when a new appointment comes in or when there is some edits that have happened to the existing ones, whether the appointment has cancelled. So again, these appointments can be very easily modified and the variables depending upon the kind of alerts it is you know you'll have uh, the relevant variables to choose from under the alert section there is another sort of notification for daily report so this is essentially uh, you know, you can have a report sent out to 
a particular user at a particular time of the day every day so in order to set this up you can very simply edit the mobile number the email address uh, and save the changes so in order to choose the sections uh, which will comprise the daily report you can either choose the entire section or pick choose the ones that you would like to see each day as part of the daily report the reports can also have certain attachments uh, you can again choose the kind of attachments that you would like to see and then you can save the changes In order to view the complete log around the alerts, uh, you can go to the reporting section. Uh, there is logs around SMS alerts. So if you would like to see the entire SMS log for a particular month, either it is the SMS ledger, which is typically the opening balance, the closing balance, and what, what kind of messages have gone out on a particular day the number of messages that have gone. It could also be the SMS summary, like a breakdown of all the alerts that have gone out, whether it was for completion, reminder, and for appointment and so on. And then there is a complete report around SMS details, like every SMS that has gone out to all the customer for that particular month. And you can very simply search for a customer in order to view all the alerts that have gone out you can also search by the name like what kind of alerts were there and you can also download the filtered report either in a csv or a pdf format So, yeah, so this is pretty much uh, from the alert section. Thanks for watching.